Uh, knowledge is power. If you do not understand the power of the mind, you are never able to control what you do not understand. Mm -hmm. With the sounds of dreams on your favorite radio station, and maybe, just maybe, we have somebody who can answer things about dreams. Um, just maybe. And I'm so excited to be talking to Dr. Eunice Gonzo, who's a clinical industrial psychologist, uh, joining us um, on this beautiful Thursday evening. We know you're headed out for the long weekend, but... This might just be something you need to hear. She also uh, does eye movement therapy and has specialization in simple and complex trauma. She joins us today uh, to share some tips and tricks to foster a better and more positive mindset. Dr. Gonzo. Good. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. Thank How you so are you? Thank you for joining us. <laughs> and I'm so excited to be having this conversation with you because on our show, it's usually that other kind of stuff. <laughs> but today, it's different and I'm loving it. So talk to us a little bit about what you do, um, uh, Dr. Eunice Gonzo. Go through the uh, mind transformation situation, what that entails. I think my job is actually a very interesting one mm -hmm. because I, I speak about... Um, the mind mm -hmm. and when I speak about the mind I suppose it's because most of times the mind is what makes us moving mm -hmm. everything we are today yep. is because of our thoughts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and our thoughts where does our thoughts reside in our in mind, the mind. Yes. but the interesting part is mm -hmm. that no one really pays attention much to our mind. Yeah. But our mind is what makes us who we are. Mm. So wherever you are right now, what you are, what you are thinking mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. because of your thinking mm -hmm. that you are wherever you are today. Mm. Whether you are traveling, mm -hmm. whether you are at home, whether you are at work, mm -hmm. it is because there's a thought process mm -hmm. going around. Mm -hmm. And it is because of your thought process mm -hmm. that you are where you are. But interesting enough, mm -hmm. no one pays attention to our thoughts. The only time we sometimes pay attention mm -hmm. to our thoughts mm -hmm. is when things are going wrong. Hallelujah. <laughs> when they say the mind is a powerful thing, this is exactly what they mean. Mm -hmm. Now, there are two parts of the mind, mm -hmm. the conscious mm -hmm. and the subconscious. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about mm -hmm. the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you look at the mind, mm -hmm. <coughs> the mind, uh, when it comes to the conscious mind, the conscious mind is what we are using right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. The conscious mind harbors all of your thought processes. Mm -hmm. So meaning, what is the thoughts going in your mind right now? I, okay, to make it much more simple mm -hmm. is, what are you thinking right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The thought processes mm -hmm. are what we call a seed, mm -hmm. you know? Meaning that, right, is what drives you. So whenever you hear of something, then you have a certain thought about it. A mm -hmm. thought is an idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is your idea? What is your opinion about the subject matter? Mm -hmm. Now, the conscious mind, mm -hmm. it means it's your thought processes uh, in regards to society. Mm -hmm. What is right, what is wrong. So you can filter it. You yeah. can filter what is right, what is wrong, and so on. Depending also on how you have been socialized. Now, the tricky part of this whole part, mm -hmm. when we say that what you think you are, becomes your subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. Now, your subconscious mind is at the back of the conscious mm -hmm. mind, mm -hmm. which means the conscious mind, your current thought mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. what you are thinking right mm -hmm. now, is what you feed into your subconscious mind. I love that. I love that because it's mm -hmm. the seed is planted in your conscious mind. And it grows in your subconscious. Exactly. And the subconscious is not necessarily what you think of now. It's sort of almost like a hard drive stored exactly. in your mind. Exactly. It's your hard drive. So if we look at it now from that perspective, mm -hmm. it's like your hard drive. Mm -hmm. But let me make it even more interesting. You find that your subconscious does not have, it does not filter. Mm -hmm. Your subconscious is not like your conscious. It uh -huh. doesn't have that this is right, this is wrong, this is what society thinks. No. Yep. Subconscious takes whatever you give it and it store it. As it store it, it starts to grow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. So the subconscious mind is what determines when we say what you think you are is based on your subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. So the subconscious mind does not look at it like this is bad thought or this is negative thought or this is good thought. It takes whatever you give it. It. It, it. it takes whatever you give it. And this is why I make a very simple example. Mm -hmm. Have mm -hmm. you ever noticed huh, that sometimes you find this very beautiful girl, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. amazingly beautiful, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. zero confidence because what she's feeding her subconscious mind is that I've got all these inadequacies. Mm. Then you find this girl, maybe you're looking at this girl and you're like, oh my God, what's mm. going on? Mm. But the confidence is amazing. Yeah. And you know what it is? Mm -hmm. Because what she's feeding 
Her subconscious is like, I'm a beautiful girl. Mm. I've got all what it takes. And so she becomes exactly that. So the subconscious does not discriminate. Mm. It just takes. So in that way, the subconscious is not very clever. It's the conscious that is clever. Yeah. Yeah. So what it means is that you need to filter Mm. what you are going to feed your subconscious. Ah, yeah, because yeah. if you don't filter mm -hmm. it, the subconscious just take. Mm -hmm. And what you then think in your conscious mind, you then become in the subconscious mind. And so what you think, you start to act out. You start to also, um, in terms of your emotions, mm -hmm. it also start to pour out. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to make it even more mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. Maybe, I don't know whether you have ever heard about the concept of being in love with love. No, my dear. <laughs> I mean, no. That's so, sure. which means uh -huh. if you meet someone, and that's why we also speak about choices mm -hmm. that we make. Mm -hmm. If you meet someone mm -hmm. and you fit in your conscious mind that, you know what, right? I think that guy is cute. Mm -hmm. I really want him. Mm -hmm. I really like him. Mm -hmm. I think I'm in love with mm -hmm. him. If you start feeding that to your subconscious mind, it becomes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Listen, listen, we'll be back in just a moment. This is a very interesting conversation, and I can't wait to go a, a little bit more into this. You are talking or you're listening to Dr. Eunice Gonza talking to us about the mind, the power thereof, and we'll be talking about how to leverage our mind in our favor. This and so much more on Action and FM. Uh, grows old, decent child, independent woman, and listen... I am in the house with some beautiful independent women and I'm so excited to be talking to uh, Dr. Gonzo today as we unpack the power of the mind. Now, uh, during our little breaky key from you all, uh, we had a conversation about fear and it's actually also something we're going to come into. But uh, for now, let's go into how to leverage mm -hmm. our mind in our favor. What is that secret to unlock control of our mind? Mm -hmm. You know, look at it this way. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, knowledge is power. If you do not understand the power of the mind, you are never able to control what you do not understand. Mm -hmm. So the biggest secret that a lot of people go into the world denying themselves is understanding the biggest tool they have mm -hmm. on the human body, which is your mind. Mm -hmm. You see, the battlefield has always been in the mind. You can then find at times that someone can be house sick, mm -hmm. but if the mind does not give up or it has a different perspective about the illness, the person will overcome. Absolutely. However, you can also find someone mm -hmm. who is not that ill. Mm -hmm. I have clients mm -hmm. who have been informed that you know what, right? Mm -hmm. You've got maybe HIV mm -hmm. or you've got cancer mm -hmm. or you've got whatever dreadful disease. Mm -hmm. But because they gave up in their mind, then they die. Mm. Not because the body gave up. Mm. So that's how powerful the mind is. But let me ask you, mm -hmm. how many of us, we are very quick to run for motivational talks, run for everything in this world to make us feel good. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you a simple thing. Mm -hmm. How many of the listeners out there, mm -hmm. how many of you have ever sat down and invested in understanding your mind? I'm actually more eager to read more about the mind because I feel like that's all we need. A sane, healthy, positive mind in order to overcome whatever. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it reminds me of a personal experience. Mm -hmm. I hated running. Yes. And eventually mm -hmm. I had to fall in love with it. Yes. And I fell in love because I convinced myself mm -hmm. that I love it. Mm -hmm. And my body just obeyed. Exactly. I ran for miles and miles and I didn't even get tired for a single second feeling like I need to slow down. Or I need How to many stop. people are failing mathematics because of an attitude? A lot. A lot. Because the attitude is that mm. it's difficult. Yeah. I cannot do it. And that's why once you have told yourself that mm -hmm. it's difficult, mm -hmm. it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Absolutely. So the mind controls everything. Mm -hmm. So what you think you are. Mm -hmm. Now the mind can make a heaven for you absolutely or it can make the world hell for you we, so you just need to choose mm -hmm. which are your thoughts what is it that you are watching mm -hmm. who are you listening to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what are you reading who do you keep company because every one of those things matters because what you don't understand 
everything in this world mm -hmm. is feeding your mind mm -hmm. your company feeds your mind mm -hmm. your tv stations feed your yeah. mind yep. your what your your newspaper articles mm -hmm fit your mind mm -hmm. what are you attracted to when mm -hmm. you are reading mm -hmm. which songs do you listen to mm -hmm. because all these things it is what is feeding your thought mm -hmm. processes mm -hmm. so for you to overcome it or for you to take total control is the first thing is that you cannot overcome what you don't know mm -hmm. so the first thing you need to understand is that what are your thoughts you need to put them down once you now have put them down you now in your conscious mind need to take away the bad thoughts from the good thoughts yeah, yeah. so that you can feed your mind mm -hmm. with the good, good thoughts, thoughts. Uh -huh. but people don't know that mm -hmm. and this is why you find there are people who will be depressed mm -hmm. for the rest of their lives mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now let me tell you this mm -hmm. look at it this way you can look at life's problems i tell all of my patients mm -hmm. that you see what makes us sick is not problems mm -hmm. because i don't know anyone who doesn't have problems I have problems. Yep. You have problems. Yep. Anyone I know mm -hmm. has problems, including kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> everyone has problems. Uh -huh. So if everyone has problems, when are we all going to be sick? Mm -hmm. So it shows that it's not problems that makes us sick. Mm -hmm. Because anyway, problems are very good. Mm -hmm. Without problems, we can't grow. Yeah. Yeah. So don't look at problems as problems. Look at them as challenges. Mm -hmm. So you have an opportunity whenever you are faced with anything in life. You have an opportunity to choose for yourself. Mm -hmm. Am I going to look at this as a challenge? Mm -hmm. Because it means now I have an opportunity. Like look at COVID. COVID came. Mm -hmm. My dear, COVID was beautiful. Yeah. As, bad, as horrible as a lot of people lost lives. It's also a good thing because it taught us to think outside the Absolutely. box. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we must learn to think of how do we look at something mm -hmm. i can also look at something mm -hmm. a death of a loved one to say that it's horrible mm -hmm. but it means that maybe it was their life journey it ended here mm -hmm. so it's all about mind perspective mm -hmm. and mind thoughts and uh, talking about perspective mm -hmm. there is one i want to call it obstacle that mm -hmm. or, or a little block that we mm -hmm. a lot of us have to jump mm -hmm. in order to we are just a jump away from achieving certain mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. and that jump is fear yes Let's talk about fear for this moment. How, 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 I mean, if I think of the things I'm afraid of, mm -hmm. uh, I am starting to now believe that it also depends on how I look at it. Mm -hmm. If I see it as this big thing, but it's just a little emotion mm -hmm. because of a memory or trauma that I mm -hmm. encountered. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, so I just want to go into how one can overcome fear. fear. Look at it this way. Fear is, based, is again a matter of pers pers perspective. Mm -hmm. Fear is an unreal thing mm -hmm. that is appearing to be real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and it's almost like, um, like you mentioned, mm -hmm. you cannot be afraid of something you've never... Oh, you can't change something of something you don't, you don't know is in your mind or something Wait, like that. Let me make it even more uh -huh. interesting. 99% mm -hmm. of what we worry about never happens. That's exactly where I'm so trying to go. So fear, yeah. again, mm -hmm. it is something that is not real mm. but it is appearing to be real mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it is not real mm -hmm. it is a mind perspective is how you think about it i'm going to go back i'm going to make an example mm -hmm. of phobias mm -hmm. phobia is a fear that something that will not harm you is going to harm you mm -hmm. but the reality is that it's fake mm -hmm. it will not harm you mm -hmm. like a phobia like no one can have a phobia for a snake mm -hmm. why because a snake will uh, 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 harm you mm -hmm. the phobia like you can't say oh i'm so afraid of a line of course a line will harm you yeah yeah phobias are things that you are afraid of like it's something like i can say i'm afraid of um a, a gecko mm -hmm. you ask me why are you afraid of geckos I will tell you it's not even I, that it can harm you right it can't harm you yeah. but you are that's why it's called a phobia phobia mm -hmm. is an intense fear mm -hmm. so you are afraid of something that will not hurt you it means that you are is the mind control is mm -hmm. your, your your thoughts are running away with you mm -hmm. it is not real but you have believed it to harm you so and that's why the first thing in getting people their power back is we make them aware of their thought patterns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we now look at those thought patterns mm -hmm. and we challenge them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we replace negative thought for 
positive thought. Mm. And from there on, you are taught the procedures on how to maintain that positive thought. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. what a lot of people miss in this world is that what you think, you now start transmitting a certain energy. And that energy, you transmit it in the universe. Because at the end of the day, we are spiritual beings. Mm -hmm. So as we transmit it, we start to attract, attract. exactly what we are, are thinking. thinking. Now, I'm going to make you laugh. Mm -hmm. Please, for, our, for, the, uh, for the listeners mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. have you noticed one thing? Almost everyone was very afraid of uh, COVID got it. Yes. <laughs> yes. We and, all thought we were going And back. then <laughs> when you ask them, you know the people who were totally, who <laughs> made sure they had the mask, they had everything, they were sun, they were doing everything right. And they are the very same people. They are the same COVID. people who got COVID. <laughs> That's Not that it is true. a bad thing That's, to have done yeah, that. It's just yeah. that the people who were afraid of it the most were the... Mm -hmm. And if you ask them, mm -hmm. ask them right now, mm -hmm. how did you get COVID? None of them can explain mm -hmm. to you because they have been so cautious. Mm -hmm. What happened is because we transmit a certain energy. Absolutely. Into the... And we don't... And, and we, 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 when we start... Because all we are thinking about mm -hmm. is not necessarily just the fear. Mm -hmm. It's the thought. Mm -hmm. We have... We become preoccupied with, with a certain thought. And that negative thought, not the fear. Mm -hmm. The fear is just the catalyst. Mm -hmm. It's the negative thought that starts transmitting... It's like a the ripple effect, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that is what now attracts... Mm -hmm what you don't want mm. now this is why you find that if you even go people who have understood the power of the mind have understood what to speak mm -hmm. into the uh, uh, universe into the universe mm -hmm. this is why you find people saying that okay like you say that i'm your next president mm -hmm. and you become the next president because you you thought it you thought you it, believe it you put it into you the universe into the, and the energy will start attracting there it's is. just like that. I wish we could have a longer conversation, Dr. Gonzo, but I just wanted to ask you one final uh, question. If there's something specific you really wanted to share with the audience, and now is your time. Yes, what I wanted uh, to share with mm -hmm. our, uh, uh, with, with you, with our listeners. listeners right mm -hmm. now is to tell them that, right? You see, your mind is very powerful. Mm. So it is something you need to guard with everything that you have. Mm. I want you to start asking yourself, what is that self-talk? Even as I'm talking to you, mm -hmm. as I'm talking right now, mm -hmm. what is going through your mind? Mm -hmm. Is it telling you that, ah, that's nonsense, just mm -hmm. leave it? What, what are you hearing from this? Take it from there. Mm -hmm. Your mind is everything. When last did you have a mental checkup? Mm. When last did you check? Because what a lot of people also don't understand, a sick mind cannot harbor positive thoughts. Absolutely. Because like, um, to make it very interesting, do you think that if you are a runner and you are down with flu or your body is not fine, are you going to be able to run at your best? No, you no. won't be able mm -mm. to. You know? Mm. So it's the same thing with the mind. Mm. We need to make sure that our minds are fine because it's the only way we can use the power of mm. the mind. But unfortunately, if the mind is not fine, meaning if you have depression, anxiety, any other psychological disorder, then it means you are not able to use it at, the f of, at your full mm. capacity. Absolutely. So what you must do, make sure that you have a mental checkup. Mm. Don't lie to yourself. Mm. It's one thing to lie to mm -hmm. the world. Don't lie to yourself. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then you take it from me. I had a conversation with a friend the other day, and she, I asked her, so how are you doing? And she's like... No, I'm fine. Uh, I just came from my psychologist. I'm like, oh, is there something wrong? She's like, no. I just went to have a normal talk, you know? And we need to see those kind of things exactly. as an okay thing. It's yes. a cool thing, yes. actually, to have a completely strange person sitting on the other side and you're just pouring out your heart. And after that, you feel much better because in the end, you're letting it out. And who knows what could come from that. Exactly. Thank you so much, Dr. Gonzo. And uh, for those who want to get in touch with you, can we do that uh, on social media, perhaps? Yes, uh, they can contact me. Um, uh, you can, it, it, it's okay for them to... Mm -hmm. um, you can uh, give them the, uh, the work cell number. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm based at uh, just opposite Med uh, Medi City, mm -hmm. number one, Aquamarine Street. Mm -hmm. So just uh, when you are going to the emergency site, yeah. the first yeah. house, mm -hmm. that's where the Oknam occupational medical health center is so 
anyone can come pop in there mm -hmm. or otherwise they can mm -hmm. contact me at 081-200-0075. That's an easy <laughs> number. <laughs> Dr. Gonzo, thank you so much and a happy long weekend to you. Yes, happy Easter. Yay, yay. <laughs> and this is how we say uh, goodbye to Dr. Gonzo, but we will still be in each, other, each other's company all the way until 10 p.m. For now, aka, ooh, the late, oh, so talented.